They trust the Veterans Affairs Administration to get to the bottom of its own scandal. The countless allegations of secret waiting lists and delayed medical care for veterans all across the country. Well, the chairman of the House Veterans Committee has doubts. The secretary himself has got to take ownership of this issue out here. We have been trying to tell him for months, in fact, over a year now, that his people are not telling him the truth. They've got to come clean and quit protecting the system and the bureaucrats in the system and start protecting and serving the veterans that are out there. Absolutely. So is it time for the Justice Department to get involved and treat the VA scandal as a criminal investigation? Fox News legal analyst Peter Johnson Jr. joins us live right now. Well, I thought along with you folks at home that this was happening when the president got involved. And now we heard last week, I guess from the head of the FBI and giving testimony, no, no one's contacted the FBI with regard to these these scandals. So we read about 26 different investigations mm -hmm. around the country. There's not been one indictment. Uh, and there can be indictments ranging from criminal negligent homicide to wire fraud to tampering right. with government records. But I got to tell you, it's a distraction. It's a game. Uh, say to the veterans, say to the American people, yeah, we're going to prosecute to the full extent of the law. We're going to go after them. Well, you don't have to uh, do that to fix the system today. Sure, the president's talked about a year of action. All right. he needs is a pen and he needs a, a phone as well. But what about the fact that uh, maybe Eric Holder, our attorney general, maybe he gets the news the same way the president does, by seeing it on TV. If I was the attorney general of the United States, I would think well, there could be some criminality going on there. And if uh, you got a member of Congress talking about how Eric Shinseki's office has been lying to Congress, the, the, that's not good. The, the attorney general should be first and, and foremost and upfront on this issue today. And he should hold a press conference and saying, we're doing this, this, and this. I've directed the U.S. attorneys Great. in these cities to open investigations with regard to the VA in those particular uh, cities. But again, the issue becomes what will happen over time? Will it become a pass the ball? I expect, and this is my prediction for this week or, or next week, uh, General Shinseki is going to say, this is all news to me. I didn't know this was happening. There are crimes going on here, and I'm going to fire X, Y, and Z in order to take the heat off General Shinseki. Right. I mean, a lot of Washington has come behind Shinseki, former generals and big uh, mucky mucks, and they say, no, we have to stand behind him. He's our war hero. He was a war hero, but he's taken the VA into the dumper, and there needs to be accountability. He needs to remember General Patton's 10th commandment that you take full responsibility sure. for the actions of yourself and your men. He's refused to do that. He should have tendered his resignation. Veterans have died. We know by the dozens, maybe by the hundreds, by the thousands. We need to blow up this system, not literally, but in terms of redesigning it. Maybe not for profit, maybe for profit uh, care. Maybe we redesign these places. But we have seen in the emails that we have read, Steve, mm -hmm. a pattern of contempt, neglect, um, and distrust of veterans that results in pain, suffering, care, uh, carelessness, sure. and hurt uh, imposed uh, on them. And this is something that we're going to continue uh, to talk about. I'm going to see Jeff Miller, uh, the chair of the House Veterans Committee, this week to go through the emails that folks have sent here to Fox and Friends to see sure. if we can get those to the congressman in those particular districts to get stuff done for those people. Well, the, we'll keep it up. If the administration isn't going to do anything, we are. Peter Johnson, Jr., America's lawyer. Thanks, Thank Steve. You.